SuperCircuit's recorders and IP cameras have the capability to check and apply updates using cloud P2P servers. Keeping your devices up to date will not only keep your system running smoothly, but also allow you to take advantage of the latest features available. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to check and apply firmware updates through the local interface of the unit, the web browser, and the mobile app. Before we get started, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button in order to get notified when new videos are available. Let's get started. All right, starting with the local interface of the unit, I wanna go ahead and right click on the screen and go to menu. It is gonna prompt you to put in your password and or pattern. So here I'm just gonna put in my pattern. Once you get to the main menu of the unit, you wanna to go to the bottom left hand corner and go to maintenance. In the sub menu here, you wanna to go to upgrade. And if you notice here, you're gonna have two tabs in the upgrade section. One is gonna be the NVR upgrade and the other one is going to be IPC upgrade. So obviously the NBR upgrade is the unit itself. On the top, you wanna to make sure that cloud is selected. On the bottom down here, there's gonna be a check for update option. So we'll go ahead and select that. And if you notice here, it's gonna tell you what your current version is and then what the latest version is available. So once you notice that there is an update available, you can hit the upgrade option right here on the bottom left side and that will automatically download the update, apply it to the unit, and reboot it. And we're not gonna do that right now, we're just gonna go to the IPC upgrade. You wanna hit the select all option and that will select all the cameras available. I have one camera connected to this unit. Down on the bottom here, we have the check for update option. And if I hit that, you'll notice that some information pops up along this camera here. The clear indicator that there is an update available for this camera is the little blue cloud icon that shows up. If that icon is there, there is an update available. In order to update that camera, you would select it and go down here to upgrade by cloud and that will automatically apply the update to that camera. Moving over to the web browser, I do have uh, my address already typed in here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and log into my unit. Once I'm in the live view section here, I can start the camera if I want, but really I'm just gonna go to the setup option very similar to the unit itself, we're gonna to go to maintenance on the bottom left. Under here, we're gonna to go to maintenance again. Across the top, you're gonna to have cloud upgrade. You wanna go ahead and select that. Device type is NVR, so we wanna hit check for update. And that's gonna give us that same information that we saw on the unit. This is what your version is now. This is the latest version available. If we hit the upgrade option here, it will automatically download that update and apply it to the unit. Checking for the IP cameras, we'll select IPC here, select the camera or cameras, select the cameras, and then we'll hit check for update. And as you do notice here, it does have the latest version and that same kind of cloud upgrade icon there. Once you notice that there is an upgrade available for these cameras, you hit the batch upgrade option and it will update all the cameras that are selected. Moving over to the guard viewer app. Once you have the application open, you wanna hit the menu button on the top left. You want to go to devices and as you'll notice I do have these red dots next to my devices that is an indication that there is an upgrade available for these devices for this demo I'm going to upgrade the test unit so I'm going to tap on test unit it's going to give me a list of options here I want to go to P2P upgrade I have two options here it tells me that my unit has an upgrade available and my IP camera has an upgrade available we're going to start with the unit so I'll tap on that going to tell you what the current version is and what the latest version is. I'm going to go ahead and hit start upgrade. It's going to give me a prompt ready to upgrade. This upgrade may take a while and requires a device to be connected to the network and power. Do you want to upgrade? You go ahead and hit upgrade. I did get a notification that says upgrade completed. And now this unit is on the latest firmware. Going back Notice that the unit does not have a red dot, which means it's already up to date on firmware. So we're gonna select the IP camera this time, hit start upgrade. It's gonna give you the same prompt that it did before. We're gonna go ahead and hit upgrade. So now if I go back, so now if I tap on it, go to start live view, the camera is updated and online. 
Overall, checking and applying firmware updates to your SuperCircuits devices is really simple. If you have any questions or issues with this process, please feel free to reach out to our tech support team for expert help.